Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another weekly Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble live stream. This week is a lot different from last week and the week before that, and I'm pretty sure the week before that as well, because this is an actually good event! No way! I can't believe it! This is like a full three map event map that's actually new things to play with new yokai and one of them is an exciting yokai that i said hey level five you gotta do this because this is exciting i i mean the other one is smashable but we got gleam and i'm happy about that gleam is so cool i love gleam he's he's great i mean he's a vertical popper but i really like him he's really really strong he has a lot of attack and we'll go over that in a bit i'm just really excited so you can see okay so in the lucky crank kai we have smashable He's only asked rank. You might go, whoa, 675 attack, and he's heartful, no way. Well, he's actually a bottom popper. So, it's not going to deal much damage, even if he has that much attack, and he's a heartful yokai. He's not worth cranking for. I'm just going to say that flat out. Don't, don't waste your time grinding money. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time cranking money. He's not worth grinding for. He just isn't. Uh, Smashable is really bad. I kind of like him. I think he has a cool design. Heartful is growing on me. I think uh, he used to be one of my least favorite tribes, but I actually really like a lot of their uh, designs. So I'm a little sad that Smashable isn't incredible. If he was uh, if he was a center popper, that would be fantastic. If he was a random popper, that would be fantastic. But bottom poppers don't deal a lot of damage for some reason. It's... It has something to do with how many Wibwobs they pop in the way that the bottom popper's area is calculated, I guess? I don't know. But the next good popper that we'll probably get is Ashura, who should be coming in a couple weeks. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking, I mean a couple years. So if we take a look at the Lucky Crank Akai right here, we're going to see... Oh, whoa! We have more Woken Yokai! So we've got Belisaria and Arachnus. So now we've had uh, 6 out of 8 of the Awoken Yokai rotating into the Lucky Crank Akai, which means that it's a reasonable assumption that we're gonna have at least one more cool special event in which uh, the last two Awoken Yokai are placed in the new Lucky Crank Akai rotation. Um, I have no idea what they'll be. I'm guessing it's gonna be with Sternyan, since uh, Europe got Sternyan a couple months and we're kind of, uh, we're kind of overdue. <laughs> Figure it says, nice to see you saved up some money, Leafy. Yep, I have a lot of cash for this event. You can see I've been doing score attack. I haven't been playing Splatoon in every waking second. Um, we can see, oh, whoa, Tengu is back in the Crank Akai. Tengu's pretty good. He is a mysterious center popper with quite a bit of attack. I forget how much exactly, but he has a lot. He was previously available in the Christmas event of the Dream Roulette for uh, Puni Puni, but we got him in a recent scramble. He's okay. He's pretty good. Um, I like him. He has a cool design, so I'm not going to be cranking for him, but uh, if there was somebody else that was like worth cranking for, if we got, you know, Enma Blade or uh, Last Shogun Yan Pass or, you know what? If they just decided to throw in the Liberty Nyan SS Pass, like literally, what the heck? That's, I'm actually kind of baffled. I'm not going to say I'm upset because it's a video game, but it's very confusing. How is level 5 not, or not level 5, how has NHN not put the Liberty Nyan SS Pass permanently in the crank Kai? Um, Liberty Nyan SS is equivalent to Last Bushinyan in terms of when he was added. Um, even if you want to say that he's equivalent to Kirokoma, when Kirokoma was added through an event, he actually permanently stayed in the Dream Roulette, or rather his past did. Same thing with Last Shogunyan, same thing with Platinum Oni. If I remember correctly, Kirokoma and Platinum Oni were added through the, uh, Mugulnyan and Chocobonyan, uh, events. And then their past has just stayed permanently. So... Uh, it's kind of kind of disappointing that Liberty Nyan SS Pass didn't stay in the, the crank because we've been waiting for the Lucky Crank for so long. We've been waiting for Pass Yokai for so long. And then we just got a couple weeks where, like the last week, they messed up the rate up and it was actually a rate down. So, a little disappointing that the Pass isn't in there. But Bizarre Awoken and Arachnus Awoken, as I said, bottom poppers don't do a lot. However, Arachnus Awoken is pretty solid. If you can't get Slurpent, if you pull Arachnus Awoken, you should be pretty happy. Um, he's good in Eerie Weeks. If you want to use him with, say, Sproink S, who you may or may not have. He hasn't been available for a while. But Arachnus Awoken is a pretty solid yokai. If you pull him, he's not, like, the most exciting, but he's still pretty good. He also gets Unity with Prison Breaker or Mass Murderer. 
Scrolling through the S ranks, okay, we have the typical ones. Gargaros, not bad, 100 point attack upper. We have better ones now with uh, Mass Mutter and Blaziana Awoken, but Gargaros still isn't a bad pull. Hi Gappa, he's pretty powerful as well. He is a center, not center popper, but vertical popper, if I'm correct. He's basically a charming equivalent to uh, Gleam or uh, Kusanagi. Then, of course, we have Smashable, who is the special Lucky Crank guy. I mean, <laughs> I don't really, I don't get it. I don't really understand why Smashable is, uh, why he's the face of this event. I mean, it doesn't have a lot to do with the Infinite Inferno. You get, he's kind of the opposite of the Infinite Inferno because you fuse uh, Predictable with the Holy Water in order to form Smashable. Uh, if they wanted to add somebody for an Inferno event, I would have proposed uh, adding Befriendable Wobble Walk, and that's actually... I've kind of been saying that I think level 5 should do that, because Wobble Walk is in uh, Yokai Watch 2, right? So if they're going to do... <laughs> Figure <a> stop. <laughs> Figure goes, smash that like button for smashable hype. <laughs> If they're going to do an Infernal event like this, I feel like uh, Befriendable Wobble Walk would have been like the, the best thing. They could have done, uh, you know, an all attacker, Shady, that would have been really hype. Uh, I would have liked that. Unicarn is always in the Lucky Crank, of course, in case you didn't get him at the exciting Scramble events. Uh, Count Cavity, kind of an interesting pull. Previously only available through Blue Coin G's and Metal Point Battles, if I'm correct. Uh, you can now pull him for 4,500 Y money if you get lucky enough. He's not exceptional. He is a Shady Ball Popper. So, I mean, Shady, I love it as a tribe. I love Count Cavity's design. He's actually kind of good in uh, Yokai Watch 2 in mainline. He does have... He has a good attack because it has a decent chance to crit since it's five hits. Uh, <laughs> not too related to Wibwob, though. Venoct and Shadow Venoct. Uh, Shadow Venoct is usually needed to be recruited, but he's also not exceptional. He is a random popper. No Caleb, they haven't added Wobble Walk to Puni. Mermother, or... Ugh, gross. Izanami. Whoa, whoa, hey! Um, what is up? Is this an old one or a new one? Uh... No, I, I think this is a new one. Rue, thank you so much for the donation. He says, hey Leafy, huge fan, and I make it most streams even though I mostly do not chat. I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoy your content and I hope I could add you on Switch. Thank you so much, Rue. Really appreciate that. Uh, that's so nice of you. Make sure to message me after the stream and I'll get you added right away. Uh, Mermother is <clears throat> a ball maker. So she makes four bonus balls on the board, leveling up her... Uh, her soul to move just decreases the soul points required to use it. And she's basically the same as Mighty Dog or Hardy Hound, except you don't have to uh, place high in score attack to get her. She's really good, not in normal stages, not in score attack, but she's good because... Uh, she's good because she gets stars. So when you use it, she makes four bonus balls, and those four bonus balls actually count, as, uh, count towards stars. So if a star says get eight bonus balls, or make eight bonus balls, then you use Mermother or Hardy Hound twice, and you actually fulfill the star requirement. Untidy is wicked, so he doesn't have a lot of good unities, and he is also a defense upper, so nothing exceptional there. Unpleasant is one of the best score uppers in the game right now. Uh, he is tied with Arach Neville or Onigama, and he is one ultimate level below Elder Bloom. We currently don't have an Edison equivalent uh, yet. Hopefully we get one. Uh, he, he's a great pull. He is a rare appearance, and he's an S rank, so he's a total pain to befriend, a total pain to increase the ultimate level of. You really want to soul secret him all the way. So if you haven't yet, and you pull one, it's like pulling a soul secret. Very exciting. Here we have the typical ones, Casanono, Hyder, uh, not great, Hinomi, Evolution, but he's a healer. Nothing, nothing of note except Mad Kappa. Uh, he is a single attacker in Wicked, so uh, he's actually the best Wicked Yokai in my opinion, aside from Unpleasant. Scrolling down, no exceptional B ranks in my opinion. And then there's the Festival Coin. So you can get the Festival Coin by buying it with event points. I think you can only get one. <laughs> and Gleam is currently exclusive to it. Our good friend Kusanagi, he is a vertical, brave... Uh, Popper, I really like him. He has a lot of attack, um, and he's really, really cool. And if you know me, you know that I'm a little form over function. I actually soul secreted Illuminoct to Sultimate Four because I really like Oro Orochi. He's one of my favorites, so I was really psyched when I pulled him, and I'm considering soul secreting him even more as well, uh, along with Benoct Awoken. 
So you only have one chance to pull Kusanagi for now, but I know a lot of people are upset about this. Don't don't get upset is all that I'll say. You shouldn't you shouldn't be upset about this because the event announcement did say that they will be adding to the event in the future. They said that we're going to get a fourth map. So I'm guessing this isn't going to be the only chance to get Kusanaki. So if you don't pull him with your event point coin, I wouldn't fret too much about it. We didn't get the event map this week, but that means that we'll probably get it next week. RRJ says, I haven't played in a year, did I miss anything? Well, first of all, welcome back, RRJ. Um, and second, no, you didn't miss anything. Uh, well, actually, you did. There was a whole comeback campaign for people that haven't played in a while, and if you logged in last month, you would have gotten uh, 30,000 free Y money and a special coin. But I think it... Actually, no, today is the last day, because it's still July. So if you log in today, you get a bunch of... Uh, you get a bunch of Y money and a special coin, so definitely log in today. <laughs> Bigre says, this isn't like Kamajiro S. <laughs> Gleam sucks. I wouldn't say sucks. That's kind of strong. He has a lot of attack, he's brave, and he's a vertical hopper. So he's good for completing stages. But, you know, he's pretty useless for score attack. I wouldn't get too upset. Oh, you can buy three coins. Okay. So he's not that worth worrying about, but he's really cool. He's really, really cool. So I want him. Uh, if we click this, why not? Why not, right? This summer is really hot in the Infinite Inferno. The Inferno Summer Festa is started. <sighs> NHN... <sighs> Look, I get that hiring a translator is expensive, but I don't know if Google Translate is really cutting it here. The Inferno Summer Festa is started. I know that Level 5 Abby, I know that Level 5 social media dudes are like... Oh, oops. I know that they're into Wiffle Wobble. I know that if you sent them an email saying, could you check literally six words here and tell us if the grammar is correct? I know that they'd be like, actually, you should say has been. <laughs> I know that it's hard to speak for people, but if I had to throw a wild guess out there, I'd say they wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> but you know what? It's kind of a minor issue, but you but you always have to... You have to hunt for these. It's always fun. It's part of the fun. It's part of the Wibble Wobble events. And yes, there's also, uh, they said Alsa. They said Smashable Alsa has a special uh, ability during this event instead of also. So here's something cool about the event points. Our other chance and buddies here, uh, Muramasa and, uh, uh, Masamune. I can't remember their English names right now. Uh... <laughs> Sheen and Snee. Sheen and Snee. Okay. Thank you, Trinsko, for subscribing. So Sheen and Snee were available in a scramble battle. I didn't bother recruiting them because they were very hard to recruit and they're not very good. Um, though Sheen is actually a single attacker and brave. Gerson asks Leafy, why are you mad? I'm not. I'm really happy. This is a good event. I wasn't being sarcastic. This is good. Um, you can actually exchange event points for them now. So you just grind up some points, exchange them. You can also get some slow secrets, of course. And Chimera is kind of interesting. I think you can only get one of him. But uh, a lot of players are having difficulty getting him. He is a basically a mysterious demon tree equivalent. He's a very powerful, mysterious single attacker. Thanks, Christopher, for subscribing. And uh, you need you can only get a single one of him by completing every single star in the final circle of the Infinite Inferno. <laughs> so he's very, very difficult to get. Certainly not easy. It requires a lot of money if you want to keep continuing. So, this is your chance to get him if you haven't already, this is your chance to effectively get a free Soul Secrets, if you already have him, since you need to Soul Secret him to increase his soul ultimate level, and he is somebody whose soul ultimate level you will want to increase. And of course, you can get the Summer Festa coin, which looks like every other festival coin, but I'm not complaining about that, I think it's cool, they're staying stylistically consistent with Puni for once, I really like that. Thank you, NHN. Bomashura Gaming says, Leafy, just letting you know, Komain is pathetically easy to get. Or are you just saying pathetically easy to kill? Interesting. So we have Komain. Now, in case you don't know what Komain is, let me let me hype you up a bit. In Puni, they always have what's called an impossible stage. And completing the stage, uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's an official term or a fan term. Uh, I don't play Puni. I feel like I should know this, but everybody calls it the impossible stage because it is, well, an impossible stage. It has a very powerful yokai. It's very difficult to defeat usually very difficult to recruit as well. Uh, usually there are yokai in the event that have special abilities that decrease the damage the yokai deals to you, or um, lets you deal more damage to the yokai, things like that. It makes it easier to uh, befriend the yokai. 
all, all of those cool bonuses. But it's worth it. It's worth the grind. It's worth getting those bonus yokai because these yokai are crazy powerful. We have Hello, Hello Kitty SS, which, um, super, super strong single attacker. We got our first impossible stage last month, um, Liberty on us, who is the strongest, um, all attacker in the game, and he's heartful, so he gets really good unity. And now, our second impossible stage. We had so many cool options, like, you know, a Zer Dragon, who is a super strong, slippery, uh, single attacker that any Chan could have given us. And they decided to give us Komain. And Komain is an A rank charming ball popper. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be doing this impossible stage. <laughs> Why, any Chan? You had so many choices. You had so many good choices. You could have given us Rhinormous. Rhinormous would have been great. He was in the first Yokai watch. There's no reason why we could have couldn't have gotten Rhinormous over Komain. But nope. Komain is waiting for us in the Ultra Inferno Summer Festa. He's super strong, and only some tribes can fight him. Whoa! Yokai with special abilities appear through the event. Damage down in all event stages. That's pretty good. Oh, except boss and secret stages. Well, that kind of destroys the entire point of it, doesn't it? Damage down from Komain. Gleam. Okay, that's nice. Event points up. Komain. Okay, so you want to get Komain so that you get more uh, more event points. Moxie Master says in all capitals, I want Komain with a bunch of exclamation marks. Christopher says, I really want Komain. Really? You guys want Komain? He's not very good. That bad is that. How come any gen can't just give us Wobble Walk? Why isn't Wobble Walk the impossible stage? That I don't get that. He should be. It's Inferno. The that would be so cool. That would be really really cool. S special festival coin for summer can be earned during the event. With this coin, you have the chance to befriend a lot of S rank yokai. Yokai's. Yokai. Yo. Yokai's. Yokai's. And even have a chance to befriend this exclusive gleam. Nice. 651 attack. I don't know where the 1 came from. I don't know why that's 69 instead of 70. But it is. I like nice round numbers. I guess any Chen doesn't. But 650 attack and brave. Not that bad. Plus he's a popper. That's really good. So I'd get him. I'd soul secret him. Because he's one of my favorite yokai. Uh, I use him so much in yokai watch 2. I'll be using him in psychic specters quite a bit. Festival coin can be used on fever mode, but will not give any lucky charge boost, which is interesting because the previous uh, 4th of July special coin would give a uh, lucky charge boost. But since they say it can be used on fever mode, that means that it's probably affected by it. And also, a final map will be released at a later date. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I fight for my friends. For even stronger enemies, which means probably uh, next Monday, I'm guessing. So stay tuned to the next live stream. Santi asks, Leaf, you aren't going to talk about the new Yokai Watch trailer, where I had to go over the event first, Santi. I had to. Uh, I'm gonna close this. Blah blah blah. Mage of Mages, thanks so much for coming. I appreciate you coming to the Yokai Watch stream since I know that you joined us for uh, Splatoon 2. Shout out to all of you Splatoon 2 guys that are joining us for this Wibble Wobble live stream. We have a good event today, so I hope that we have a nice, exciting little introduction to the event for you, for, to the franchise for you guys. So here's what our team is going to be. We have Snartle, we have Demuncher, we have Cruncha. These guys deal a lot of damage, for those of you unfamiliar with Wibwob. Uh, this guy, Blaziana Awoken, when you use him, he makes your other guys deal more damage. And Slurpent, this guy, uh, makes it easier for your damage dealers to deal damage. That's the gist of it, for those of you uh, unfamiliar with the game. You'll see how it works now. So you're going to enter the stages, and since these stages aren't very intensive, and those of you new to the game will figure it out very fast just by observing it, we're going to jump into today's topic. The topic of the day. Uh, <laughs> that's not actually a thing. But today's topic, if we're pretending that it's a thing, is going to be Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Specters. Because finally, finally, we have a release date for the game. Two months before it releases, <laughs> though that's not exactly exclusive to Yokai Watch because Monster Hunter Stories just got a release date one month before it releases. By the way, if you guys are excited for that exclusive Wibwob stream announcement, we will be streaming the demo uh, August 10th when the demo for Monster Hunter Stories releases. I'll be streaming it because that sounds fun. I want to play it. Uh, I'll be getting the game. I might live stream the game if you guys like the demo stream. We'll see how it goes. Uh, one big complaint that I've seen in when I'm conducting my survey is... You need more variety on the channel. 
Just Splatoon 2 uh, is a little too samey. Now, a lot of people are also saying thanks for streaming so much Splatoon 2, but, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, so, I want to branch out, I want to do more stuff, because I do play other stuff, I just don't stream it. So I figure, hey, why not stream uh, the Monster Hunter Stories demo, and if you guys like that, then I'll stream the game while I'm playing. Uh, anyway, I got kind of sidetracked. They announced that Psychic Specters is going to be releasing on September 29th. Which is awesome! It's coming up soon. That's not awesome, because it means that I need to update my website soon. <laughs> which, uh... It's been going a little slow, because I haven't been working on it much. I've been doing too much YouTube. <laughs> I gotta get on that. But, um, I am preparing some really good content for you guys. If you're excited for Psychic Specters, this is gonna be the place to be. I'm gonna have all sorts of crazy awesome competitive guys. I am... Hey, you probably know I'm very familiar with every aspect of the game, of the franchise, and, uh, you gotta be here. We're gonna have a race to the top ranked match live streams, um, if it's not too susceptible to stream sniping. Uh, we're going to have a really, really fancy stream, stream setup. It's... It's cool. Get excited. It's going to be... Oh my god. I'm really excited for it. You guys should be too. I don't want to say anything. I want to, like, reveal it yet, because it's really cool. <laughs> but it's really cool. That's all I'm going to say. So, get excited uh, for Psychic Specter's streams. Uh, we're going to do daily streams, of course, just like we have been doing. I would like to... We've been doing daily streams for so long, but I kind of want to make that a part of the channel. It's a tough commitment. And if you know me, you probably know that I'm a little bad at commitments, but uh, I really enjoy streaming. I didn't know that I'd like streaming so much, uh, and it's sort of, it's just like become a part of my day. So I'm going to try and uh, keep that up throughout the year. So when Psychic Specters releases, we'll do all sorts of streams. We'll do ranked streams, of course. We'll do um, infinite tunnel streams, uh, rare yokai hunting streams, and... Uh, trying to recruit QB stream because that takes 10 million years to do and I need somebody to help me feel sane. I'm really excited. Let me know guys, how are you feeling about not only the Psychic Specter's release date announcement, but the new trailer. It's just a translated version of the old Shinuchi trailer, so not too much to go over there. But let me know, what are you guys thinking? I have thank you Mars for uh, subscribing. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you guys very much because we've been going over lots of news. I wanted to get that out of the way so that I could start chatting, up, chatting with you guys. So let me say hi to some people, thank you to all the mods coming out, great to see you HD Hydra, really cool, um, Death Madness coming by, Gamer Nato, uh, Ethan, Moxie Master, Colin, Thorny on the Beast, Crazy Potato Man, Coma Santa, Galaxy U, lots of people, Galdever, Happy, Moderator Happy, Colin, he asks, is Last Shogunyan and Psychic Specters no Colin? Last Shogunyan is from Yokai Watch 3, he's American Yokai, Anime Boy just subscribed, oh man, it was Anime Boy. I'm 2791 says, you know, uh, else is good. I don't know else is good. NHN, tell me more. They released the Yokai Watch trailer on the Nintendo UK tr channel, so we get this game the same as America. Yeah, um, this is crazy. We're getting the first, not global, but mostly global release for Yokai Watch. You, uh, United Kingdom and United States, um, are getting the game at the same time. So, uh, everybody's happy. P. Gray's happy. I'm happy. We all get to play the game on September 29th. Now, that's kind of that's kind of funny because April is going to be five months ago, which means that Europe is actually getting Psychic Specters closer to when um, we should have, like closely following Japan's pattern, which is cool. I'm really excited about that. Hopefully, that means that everything will be in sync from now on. Uh, when we get Busters, when we get Yokai Watch 3, because we will. They're all going to be synced up. And when we get Sangokushi, right, guys? Right? Please tell me that's happening. <laughs> Everybody will get it. Hey, Mage of Mages says, I have Yokai Watch 2. I didn't know you liked Yokai Watch Mages. You must be, uh, must be pretty at home here. Home here, then. I feel astonished about Psychic Specters, says Quentin. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> Bukovo says, I heard that Yokai Watch 3 will release never 2018. <laughs> hey, if people want to post their friend codes in the chat to find other friends, then they can. The only thing that you can't do is spam to ask me to friend you, because I don't have any friend friendless space. But if you guys want to friend other people in the chat, that's totally fine with me. Uh, that's, that's not something that people should be timed out for. I think that's totally cool. Yaminator says, I already have Songokushi. Yeah, but how much of that did you understand? <laughs> Uh, 
I love, I love Fire Emblem. Uh, I love Advanced Wars. I love Codename Steam. I was one of the 10,000 people that bought it. <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> that was, that was kind of sad. I really like that game. I love all of Intelligent System stuff. I love Pokemon Conquest, which is made by the same guy as Koei Tecmo. So I really hope we got Son Goku. Let's see here. Oh, HD Hydra says that he knows how I can make my chat look prettier on stream. I actually know how to do that, and I had it in my um, Magikarp Jump stream. But I was kind of pressed for time when I was setting this up. Usually I use Restream, uh, and that's how it looks pretty. But um, I don't know. I just I just didn't do that for some reason. I can I can do that now actually. I'll do that now. If you if you guys are bothered by it. So, I'll open Restream, okay. We'll make the chat look pr look pretty. <laughs> Moderator Happy says, Leafy, Anichan is on a low budget. Their current translator works for Google Translate, and he's being as helpful as he can be. <laughs> thank, thank you for uh, the info, Happy. Hey, ZF King, thanks for coming. What did you do in Wibwab today, Leafy? asks Yoshimon. Nothing. This is uh, the first time that I've even uh, worked on this event. So you pull that up, and then... What? Okay. Show restream, and... Okay. So that... Oh, I gotta... I gotta log in. Hang on. It says token expired. Please log in. Thanks for that. I mean, I guess it's secure, but... I don't know... Alright, cool, it should be working now. Whoa, the chat looks pretty now! So when people start posting messages, it'll look nice. I think. What's your favorite license game, asked Thornyon. Uh, either you or somebody else already asked me this a couple days ago. It's a tie between SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom and Spider-Man 2, both on GameCube and PS2. Not the PC version of Spider-Man 2, that one's bad. That's a different game. Oh, you know what? Restream only works when you're streaming through Restream, I think. If I'm correct. So, that might be why it's not working right now. How's your day today, Leafy? Yes, asked Angrio. Oh, busy. Haven't really had a lot of time to do stuff since uh, the previous, previous stream. So we're just gonna do this. We'll stick with the ugly one. Ukubo Gull asks, Leafy, can you talk about the new Puni event? Uh, no, I don't play Puni, so there's not a lot for me to talk about. There's a new event based on the Yokai Watch 1 festival. Uh, you can recruit DJ KJ, though not Donchan, which is kind of sad. They do a lot of licensed stuff, but they haven't actually brought Donchan in, which is surprising, considering that they actually brought in uh, Mugunyan and Chocobonyan, which were licensed characters that appeared in Yokai Watch 3. So I'm a little surprised about that, for sure. A little disappointed. But he wouldn't be very good anyway, so it's not that big deal. That big of a deal, rather. Oh my god! <laughs> Tim, thanks for coming. He says, an ugly person, I am okay with the ugly chat. <laughs> thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> I wonder when we'll get Pandal Awoken, says Santi. I mean, I think that they need to do the Awoken poll. That should be the next, that should be the next big wigwob event. For those who don't know, Japan held a poll back in January asking players which Awoken Yokai they wanted to see next. And players voted for Whisper. We got Whisper SS. And they did this huge event, Whisper Festival, with like six different kinds of Whisper. I think five different kinds of Whisper. And a Whisper mini game based on Ohajiki and all this crazy stuff. So I think Wibwab needs that. And I think Wibwab needs that not only because it's a good event, but because I know. I know that we could get everybody to vote for Pandora Wolf. I know we could do it. It wouldn't be hard. We got we got all the Whip Wub guys on board. It would be easy. Goat would put out a video, Robert would put out a video, even, even Pigre could probably bring herself to put out a new Wibble Wobble video. Just to get people on board for Pandora Wolf. It would be easy. What we need in Wibwob is Whisper Awoken, says Moxie Master. I mean, not really. We need Panda Awoken. Obviously. You need to you need to get with the program, Moxie Master. Okay. I could probably be going through this faster. 
Santi says, just notice the FAQ is different from the Splatoon streams. Well, yeah, not a lot of people watching a Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble stream are going to ask me if I prefer Pearl or Marina. Though, I'm guessing we'll got a couple of them. Hi, first time at your stream, loving it so far? Asks all, yes, you are loving it so far. <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't mean to put a question mark there. Thanks for coming, all, and, uh, or is that pronounced Ole? There isn't a, uh, whatever mark on there, so I think it's just Ole. Thanks for coming, thank you for, uh, I'm guessing subscribing, I probably just missed the notification. And I'm glad that you're enjoying it. If you guys are new here, and you're enjoying the stream, make sure, sure to subscribe. We do Wibble Wobble live streams every Monday at 4pm Central Time. <laughs> Godess, who do you prefer, Marina or Marina? <laughs> uh, that's, that's a tough question. I'm gonna have to go with Marina here. Though, don't quote me on that. Super Mario Wafer says, Hey Leafy, just got here a minute ago. How are you? I'm gonna sub. Thank you, uh, Super Mario Wafer. I appreciate that. I'm doing great. How are you? Valentine, thanks for coming. Always great to see you at the streams. He asks, what's the deal with Pandal? Pandal is... He's a very silly yokai. Uh, for one, he's the first yokai in the medallion. Um, also, he's a part of the Brave Tribe, which is notoriously overpowered. But Pandal's, Pandal's skill is actually that it's easier to get critical hits on him. So, it's that he takes, on average, more damage than other yokai in the game. <laughs> So, it doesn't benefit him in any way. Um, he has the weakest attack in the game. He's... he's an E-rank, so he's the lowest rank. And his his episodes are just really, really funny. Uh, also, he just looks silly. He's just this little pink guy running around naked with a pot on his head. And... it's... he's just crazy. He's awesome. Everybody, you have to love him. Yoshimon asks, Sleepy, have you played Yokai Watch Busters? I haven't, but I know our moderator here, Proxens, has. And he's currently still working through it. So, uh, if you want to see Busters gameplay, I'd check him out. I haven't played, bothered importing Yokai Watch Busters because I was like, Oh, this was me back in September, last September. I was like, Oh, we're gonna get Busters really soon, so I shouldn't import it, or else I'll just spoil it for myself when I play it six months from now. No, 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 no. If I could go back in time and say, Leafy, import that thing right now. <laughs> but at, at this point, I might I might as well not. Because hopefully we'll get it this summer. Or rather, next summer. If we don't, I'll be super disappointed. Not gonna lie. Greg Gamer says, Hey, Leafy, do you know Sages? Yes, we're good friends. He's a moderator here, in case you didn't know. Which you probably didn't. Skychain says, I'm new here and I subbed earlier. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Skychain. Uh, Liliana. Skychain Liliana. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope that you're enjoying the Wibwob stream. Seems that we have quite a few new people here today. Probably because we have a, uh, a good event this time. Look at this. We have, whoa, a recolored Infinite Inferno. Never seen that before. Does Yokai Watch 3 have a recolored Infinite Inferno? I like to avoid all, any and all spoilers for Yokai Watch 3. But you might as well break it to me now if they do. Besides the Divine Paradise. <laughs> if there's a third recolored Infinite Inferno, I just want to be set up for disappointment. So that I don't... I'm not actually disappointed when I play the game, just tell me. Just be like, yeah, Leafy, there is. Oxymaster says, Leafy, I'm on Super Inferno Summer Festa, and I'm not doing so hot. Uh-oh. That's not good news, Oxymaster. Let's see how we do on the Super uh, Inferno Summer Festa. What's the boss of these things? No, actually, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. RJS Sleepy, should I do a lucky crank pull? Well, it's not like you have anything better to spend your Y money on. <laughs> I mean, I'd save it. Because Smashable is just not good at all. Thank you, Dennis, for subscribing. He's not worth it. Save it for the next event. Save it for Sternyan or Machonyan or whatever our next thing is. I'm guessing Machonyan for Psychic Specters. Mystic, welcome. Mystic says, to be honest, I don't play Yokai Watch. Can you recommend a game to start, please? So the second Yokai Watch game on 3DS, uh, Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls. There are two versions. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. It actually contains all of the content from the first game. There are a couple tiny bits of story that you're gonna miss, but it, they don't connect to the second game. But all of the actual gameplay content, all of the areas, all of the yokai to recruit, all, every single boss to fight, um, all of that is included in the second game. 
So if you're new, new to this franchise, you really want to start with the second game. Because it also includes a lot of quality of life improvements, similar to how Splatoon 2 does, um, with all the new UI stuff, some new gameplay elements, things are overhauled so that it's less tedious, you really want to start with the second one. Normally I'd just say, well, uh, get Bony Spirits or Fleshy Souls, doesn't matter, just get one. Uh, and they are available for only $20 now, if, if you're impatient. But at this point, we know that in almost exactly two months, just a couple days less than two months from now, on September 29th, the definitive version, so think Platinum to Diamond and Pearl, called Psychic Specters, yo Watch 2 Psychic Specters, is going to release on 3DS. So if you're impatient, get... Uh, I would recommend getting Bony Spirits for $20, but if you can wait two months, I'd hold off for Psychic Specters and get that. Because that's that's by far the definitive version, they have a lot more quests, a lot more yokai, uh, a lot of cool stuff to do, a lot, a lot of areas, and just so much more content, more story. So you definitely want to hold off for Psychic Specters if you can. It will be a full $40 though. So there's a bit of trade-off there, would you rather pay half the price and get a little less content, or pay double the price but get the definitive version? In Japan, they did update um, Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls so that they actually got a little more content, they could play with Psychic Specters. We haven't had any word on that uh, for America, but we do know that they're going to bring over the Save Transfer tool, which means that if you start on Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls, or Fleshy Souls, then you can actually transfer your save to Psychic Specters when it comes out, which is pretty cool. That's like if Platinum let you transfer your save from Diamond or Pearl. Oh, uh, Quinton says, also try to watch the anime too. Yeah, the anime's pretty good. They they aren't really connected, but it's, it's funny. So if you enjoy the characters, then I'd suggest it. Are you guys hearing this audio glitch, or is it just me? This is really weird. It's still playing the battle music on this menu. Are you guys hearing that? That's very weird. Modi says, welcome back Modi. Modi says, and trying so hard to get smashable. Oof. Yeah, I wouldn't try too hard to get smashable. I mean, he's not that great, as I've said. But if you want him, then you want him. Yeah, you guys are hearing the weird glitch. You know, Wibble Wobble is Wibble Wobble. It's fun, but it's kind of glitchy. It happened to me too, says the legendary Kirokoma. Okay, so, uh, audio glitch awoken, says Potato Man. So it is a known issue with the event map. I'm not surprised. Kendall says, any gen! <laughs> Classic any gen, really. I'm having a crisis. Should I buy a Fire Emblem game or Psychic Specters? Asks, uh, Hoodie Blue. So I might be biased, but I'd say Psychic Specters. Echoes was certainly disappointing, so I would get Conquest if you want to buy a Fire Emblem game. But, uh, I would, I would get Psychic Specters, it has a lot more content. It's just such a great game. If you haven't played Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls especially, uh, get Psychic Specters, for sure. For sure. But I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with Yo-Kai Watch, so I might be a little biased. What's the luckiest pull from the current Crank Akai? Asked Jonas. Probably Unikirin if you don't have any of that. If you do, then, uh... Unpleasant? There aren't a lot of good guys right now in the Lucky lucky Crank Akai. Whoa! Hang on! Bookable Gull! <laughs> I did not see this! Bookable Gull asks, why does the U UK version of Yokai Watch 2, I'm guessing they're saying Psychic Spectre, have an amiibo logo on the box. I will need to double check this. I have not heard about this. Is this true? Can anyone verify this? Um, does the UK box art have an amiibo logo on it? Uh, I feel like Nintendo wouldn't allow that, so that's kind of interesting. I, I, I have to check that actually. I'm gonna pull that up right now. Uh, no, you guys. Yeah, let's check that out. Is is that true, or were you just seeing things? I'm checking the box art right now. Uh, on Nintendo's website. No, it doesn't have an amiibo logo on it. What are you talking about? It doesn't have that. That is not true. Were you purposely bamboozling me? <laughs> Uh, 
Gamernado says, uh, did you know Johnny Austin did a face reveal in his Mimikin video? Did you know that I got a face reveal in person from Johnny? It's pretty good. What's your favorite Yokai Watch game? That's Sangrio. Uh, Psychic Specters, even though I haven't played it yet, I know enough about it to say that it's gonna be my favorite when I play it. Yokai Watch 2 is pretty incredible, but, uh, Psychic Specters is the definitive version. Shark asks about review scores for Yokai Watch 2. Uh, review scores, I'm not gonna say they don't matter, but you shouldn't pay attention to them. Because most reviewers are a little stupid. Um, IGN, for example, literally did not play more than five hours of, uh, Bony Spirits and Fleshy Souls. You could tell from their review. They talked about features being missing that you actually get from upgrading the Zero Watch literally five hours into the game. So, don't, don't worry about reviewers. Reviewers will be idiots if they want to be, and they usually do. It's not something that's worth dressing about. I think Psychic Spectres should get good reviews. I think it's a good game. But not everybody's going to be willing to give it a chance. And that's, that's not something you can control, right? If you try and uh, force people to give a game a chance, you're just going to make them hate it more. So don't do that. Don't get aggressive. Great Gamer says, oh, I bought Fire Emblem Echoes. Wait, why were you asking me if you're already bought? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's okay, because you say my birthday is in October, so I can get Psychic Specters. But in October, it's going to be tough. Because you'll have to decide between Psychic Specters, Super Mario Odyssey, and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minions. <sighs> tough choice. I'd be stuck between um, Odyssey and Psychic Specters. And, uh, something else releases in October that I'm forgetting about. What is it? Hmm... I actually think it's a PlayStation game. Oh, Pokken releases end of September. Blue Reflection releases end of September. Oh, you have to tap these to break them. Uh, what else releases then? Uh, there's some sort of PlayStation game that releases in October, that's kind of big. Thank you to the new subscriber, I missed your name. Monster Hunter Stories, that's right, Crimson, releases beginning of September. We were talking about that earlier. I think you're a little late, so you missed it. Uh, but I will be streaming the demo when it comes out in America on August 10th. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if Mexico gets the demo August 10th, but at least you can watch me play it. So I hope you tune in. I know that uh, you'll be a little more familiar with the monsters than I am. I played three ultimate for around 70 hours. Uh, or sorry, four ultimate. And I played generation for around 40. But I'm not like the hugest Monster Hunter guy, as you can tell. I do like it though. Moxie Master says, I heard about Pokken, but it looks complicated. Don't worry. Pokken is the easiest fighting game to get into of any. Um, it uses Smash Bros. style inputs for the most part, where it's just like a direction plus a button. There are no quarter circles, there's no thunder god dancing. It's pretty simple inputs. The, um, the real difficulty in Pokken comes from playing it well. So having good fundamentals in terms of uh, spacing and reads and all of that. I don't want to get too into it. But it's if, you're, if you think it looks complicated, don't worry. It's... I'm not trying to undermine the game by saying, don't worry, it's not, because it has a high skill ceiling, but it's easy to get into, and that's what I love about Pokemon. It's nice and approachable, is what I'll say. If you like Pokemon, and you're like, dude, this is my dream Pokemon game, like I was, uh, then definitely get it. Definitely get it, because I will be playing, um, I'll be playing it on my channel a lot, we'll be playing it for subscribers Saturday, uh, I'll be doing a race to the top ranked match live streams, I'll be doing strategy videos, I'll be making Darkrai in case you're curious, I am so excited for it, I love the original Pokken, I'll be covering this super hard, spreading the word about it, because Pokken has such a great community too, you guys, uh, so if you're interested in it, absolutely consider getting it. Angryo asks, Wibwub says to not use my real name. Why, Leafy? Because it's a children's game? <laughs> They're not gonna tell children to use their real names. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a joke or not. Yeah, subscriber Saturday Hype. I agree, Death Madness. You're always there. Uh, I'll have fun facing off against you guys. Have you ever played Kingdom Hearts, asks Grey Gamer? I've played them all except for Birth by Sleep, which I've been told I should absolutely play. Adrian, welcome, and that's so kind of you. He says, I'm a new subscriber, and you're already my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, Adrian. That's so kind of you. So we're going to, uh, I guess he's Blazy on here and Demuncher. <laughs> Christopher says, hi guys, welcome to EB Games, copy that. <laughs>
Yeah, Kabuki Roid hype, I agree, Gamer Nada. He's gonna be really cool. If I had to guess, uh, I'm gonna say, big prediction, they're going to rename Kabuki Roid to Kabuki Droid. With a D. Uh, I think that they're gonna do that for some reason. What's the point of Nintendo Select games, asked Bookable Gulls. They reprint old games that are being resold for high prices because you can't find them anymore, such as Ocarina of Time 3D and Punch-Out Wii, and they sell them for a reduced price, like $20, so that one, people can get them for cheaper, uh, two, people can get them from an official source, new, and three, uh, resellers suffer because of that. Ooh, Danganronpa V3 got a Steam page the other day, says SSRN. I haven't decided if I want to get it on Steam or PS4 yet. That's a tough decision. I might get it on Steam, honestly. Because I, I have a good computer. So, yeah, probably definitely going to get it on Steam. I'm not sure if I will stream it, because it's just a visual novel. But I'll be playing it, that's for sure. I'm very excited about it. I'm not, I'm not sure the exact day it launches. I've had the ending spoiled for me, unfortunately, but, uh, it's not that big of a deal, because the endings aren't really what Danganronpa games are about, you know what I mean if you've played them. <laughs> uh, it's more the excitement of the trials and figuring them out, and I don't know about anybody else that dies aside from, uh, anything that I've heard about the ending. Like, the last trial. Offensive joke awoken, says Caleb. Maybe. What's your favorite Kingdom Hearts game, asked Goku? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Or 358. I was one of the few people that really liked that game. I loved how you could play as any organization member, and Donald, and Goofy, and Mickey. That was wicked. That was really, really cool. That was just mind-blowing to me. I loved that. And they all had their own unique movesets and stuff. That game was really fun. So definitely uh, 358 over two days. How do you feel about Yo-Kai Watch Busters Online Mode? Do you think it'll be a thing? In Standalone Busters, yes. In Yo-Kai Watch 2, no. And neither is Mystery Waylinking. I guarantee you at least 10,000 people are going to make a post on the subreddit then, uh, the day that the game releases, asking for people to play online. Leafy on fam ass right? I thought it would be obvious. Reconnect is successful. Hey guys, just a tip. Spamming doesn't help flag. Just a little tip there. I know it's kind of mind blowing, but spamming is actually just spamming. Kind of crazy. Yeah, and look, we're back in a second. Literally a second. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see. Whoa, Anime Boy pulled Unicure from the Lucky Crank. That's super lucky. That's crazy lucky. Alright, so... The base map was pretty easy. Lucario Kid says, Leafy, why do you think we haven't gotten the Puni Puni event going on right now? I've seen the Yokai and there's nothing Yokai Watch 3 related, so all they would need is a decent translator. Technically, DJ KJ is from Yokai Watch 3, uh, Yokai Watch 3 4.0, if I remember correctly. However, he was introduced in one of the very first anime episodes, so really not from Yokai Watch 3. However, the key thing is the last thing that you said. You said all they would need is a decent translator, and anybody knows that that is not what they have so that's why we don't have it yet what feature would you like to see in psychic specters asked leafy on fan uh that's i mean they aren't gonna add anything they're just translating shinuchi so i know all the features that are gonna be in it however i guess the one thing that's not confirmed yet is certain names and i would like to see them keep hinoshin's name even though we know that's not gonna happen I would like to see some of the localized names we don't know about be good. Which Danganronpa character is your favorite? Asks uh, Komachan. Probably... Ooh boy, oh boy. That's tough to choose from across all of the games. That's really tough to choose. Uh... I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to sit on that one, actually. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Gundam Tanaka. He is the best, by far. He's so funny. He's so, so funny. And he's, he's super respectable. I love him. Gundam's my favorite by far. Moxie Master says, Leap here in Super Inferno Summer Festa. Help me out. I don't know what, I don't know what help you need. This is pretty easy. <laughs> Level up your yokai. Yeah, 
Yeah, Gundam's my favorite. Still praying for Yokai Watch 3 and its content for Wibwob, says Quintum Floyd. Yeah, I agree. We'll be getting it. Uh, probably. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> my second favorite is Chiaki's, uh, Komachan. Chiaki's great, of course. Thoughts on the four new Yokai added to the medallion, asked Captain Falcon. Uh... We already know about, like, what they are and stuff. I'm excited. I really want Robonyon 3000. He has an absurd attack. And, uh... Uh, Pink Emperor is always great. <laughs> Thanks, Leithion. Valentine says, Go King just made 219 million score at McCracken stage. Seems like a loss to challenge. Oh, wow. That's a lot of score. Uh, Garrison, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. I think Danganronpa would count. It's excessively violent. Uh, does God of War count? I'm excited for the new one. It looks really, really good. Uh, I love that they're incorporating, uh, Norse mythology now. Moving on from Greece. That's really cool. Matthew, welcome! He says, hi, Leafy. Hang on, muting my... Okay, I sneezed. Time to, uh... <laughs> Time to read the comment. Matthew says, Hi Leafy, I found you through Splatoon, but I have no idea what this is. Can someone enlighten me? This is a mobile game called Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, based on the 3DS franchise made by Level 5, who made Professor Layton, uh, uh, Fantasy Life, Inazuma 11, Guild, like, the Guild 1 series, Guild 2, Dark Cloud on PS2. You're probably familiar with something they made. They did Dragon Quest 8 and 9, surely you've heard of that. Uh, and this is a mobile spin-off. It's not very similar to the 3DS games at all. I highly suggest checking out Psychic Specters, the newest entry, which comes out uh, this September 29th. I'll be covering it a lot on my channel, so you'll be hearing about it a lot regardless of if you buy it or not. Uh, so definitely check it out. But yeah, this is this is just a little mobile spin-off. It's really fun. It's to tide us over. I like playing it. I think it's really cute. So we stream it every Monday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, I'm super excited for Dragon Quest XI. I'll be doing something for that. I'm not sure what, but uh, I'll be covering that for sure. I'm guessing they won't localize the Switch version, unfortunately, so I'll be covering the PS4 version. What's your best yokai right now in any version, asks Aiden. Uh, Demuncher? He's at Ultimate 6. Or Blaziana Awoken, because he's maxed out. Caleb asks Leafy, do you think the Darkion Metal will come with the physical Psychic Spectres? Uh, I don't, because they haven't announced anything like that yet. And they, they would have. Leafyon asks to join the Discord. The link is, uh, it's literally like the second line in the description. So click it if you want to join. We have over 850 members. Ook will ask Leafy, when will your next Splatoon 2 stream be? Uh, I stream Splatoon every day, so it'll be tomorrow. We need to befriend Wobble Walk and Cat Cradle if it's possible. Uh, you can befriend Wobble Walk and Yokai Watch too, but Cat Cradle does not have a friend for him yet, as far as I know. I know that spoilers, mute the video if you don't want spoilers for Busters. And uh, Yokai Watch 3. 3, 2, 1. I know that uh, Gutsy Bones has a friend for him in Busters, and Kabuki Roid has a friend for him in Yokai Watch 3. So that's pretty exciting. Humza says, it's either watch the stream, pack for my trip tomorrow, or level up my new mass mutterer. Level up your mass mutterer while watching the stream, and then pack for your trip right before you go. Easy. <laughs> Super Mario Wafer says, hey Leafy, I'm playing through San Fantastico. Any recommendations? Um, yeah, if you're having difficulty, then uh, Kappa is gonna be pretty good. He's a strong single attacker. He's kind of difficult to grind, but if you have the patience, he's kind of worth it. Komachan asks, do you have any favorite executions? Uh, I don't really want to spoil anything for people, but mute the video if you don't want Danganronpa spoilers. Three, two, one. Uh, I thought Gundam's was really good. Uh, 
because it demonstrates that he actually does do black magic along with his pre pre execution when they were kind of like the battle. I thought that was kind of a cool little I told you so moment. Uh, I, I thought Chiaki's was really, really cool, though kind of sad, but it was like constant cliffhanger. Like constantly, oh my god, what's gonna happen? When's she gonna die? Um, and then, what else did I like? Uh. Let's go one from Danganronpa 1. Uh, Celeste. Celeste was really good, because it started as, like, her ideal execution. Like, she would have been really happy with it, and then it was just, they just wrecked it. And so that was the worst possible situation for her. They just destroyed her hopes and dreams. That was really good. Is Elder Bloom hard to get, like Komashura asks Goku. Yes, he's exactly as hard to get as Komashura is. You have to pull, uh, Pepion from the Cranky Kai. Any more hints to Enma in Psychic Spectres, asks Nicholas Williams. Not that I know of. The only hints to Enma are in Bony Spirits. So I think Psychic Spectres will have that quest, if I'm correct. But nothing new, that's for sure. That was Yokai design, in your opinion, asks Captain Falcon. Great to see you, dude. Um, my, my least favorite Yokai design is probably, uh, Mama Aura. She's just. I don't like her. Uncle Infinite, though, he's cool. I hate Solterrier, he won't be my friend, says Komachan. Yeah, Solterrier's kinda tough. He's really tough to be friend. And annoying, too. Nick says, the only anime I've ever watched completely was Death Note. What's your opinion on it? Uh, I didn't think it was that great. I thought the art was pretty bad. And the story was kinda like, generic edgy. Leaf, thanks for your help, says Wafer. Uh, no problem. Kario Kid says, I just noticed that some of the event maps have a typo in which they say enemies instead of enemies. Uh, you spelled enemies too wrong too, by the way. Uh, it should be E-N-E-M-I-E-S. Check a star in stage 3 in case you haven't noticed. This proves your translator point. Yeah, any gen isn't the best. What's your least favorite yokai skill based? Asks uh, Teo. Any healers, ball poppers, uh, stunners, any of the bad ones. I need anime recommendations, if possible, asks Nicholas Williams. Uh, Fooly Cooly. I'm guessing you haven't seen it. It's only six episodes. Watch them all at once, like a big movie. Welcome back, Mighty Wolf. Great to see you again. Says hello, everyone, in bots, and of course, Leafy. I got Dark Hubie, a ball popper, but better than Tunatic, that's for sure. Dark Hubie has currently the highest attack in the game, tied with Liberty Neon SS. However, if they don't nerf him, Robinion 3000 will have more. Gamernado says Lucas is the best character in Yokai Watch. I don't disagree. I mean, I love Enma, so I gotta love Lucas, right? You watch sub or dub, asked Matthew. Uh, sub, one possible, except for Cowboy Bebop, where the dub is objectively better. My Hero Academia says Yoshimon. Yes, I keep meaning to watch that. I like One Punch Man, that's a really good anime. Uh, or some other ones that you probably like. Hmm. I don't know. I like No Game No Life, but that's not for everyone. It's not like, it's not super great, I just thought it was kind of, it's pretty. I mainly liked it for the art direction. They have really good use of color. The lighting is cool, um, they have all these neon outlines and stuff that really make everything stand out. I'm not talking very intelligently right now, but you'll see, if you watch it. And it's really funny, too. It's really, really funny. They have an entire episode based around Galgun, of all games. <laughs> so it's just a very... it's very absurd, but it's not for everyone. Do you like One Piece? asks Autobot Pictures. I've seen a few episodes here and there. Uh, a friend of mine is completely obsessed with it, so he's shown me some. I like what I've seen, but it's way too long for me. But I like it, yeah. Oh man, Matthew, I love that show. He says, I watched Totodora a few weeks ago. It's old but super cute. Yeah, super cute. Oh my god. I love that show. Totodora is... Yeah, it's probably one of my favorites. I thought it was really cute. It's pretty, uh... Breaks the barrier on some things. Um, it does a lot of unexpected stuff. It's not, it's not too generic. I thought it was really good. And, um, the art is very pretty. And I love the opening. The opening's good. Uh, Preparade. I definitely suggest it if you're into that kind of stuff. Crazy Potato Man asks, have you ever played Sonic 06? No. Uh, thankfully. I've played a lot of Sonic games, though. 
I'll be playing Mania and Forces. <laughs> Welcome, Moderator Sages! Somebody was just asking about you. They asked, do you know Sages? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Um, he says, nerds. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... Let's see. Blaze! Love your streams, Leafy. I'll try and be here every week, says Mario Wave. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's great to have you. We are here every week at uh, 4 p.m. Central. Have you gotten the good end in Sonic CD? I finally got that today, says Koma Santa. Yes, I have. Sonic CD is a really good game. I love Metal Sonic. He's pretty cool. Kendall says, I never have my Wibble Wobble team evaluated because my playstyle utilizes some of the bad Soultimate classes. Then the issue is that you're using the bad Soultimate classes. <laughs> Ultra Infernal Festa is very hard for me, says Adrian. Is it? Uh oh. Not feeling too confident then. Leafy, is this a good team? asks uh, Shadow Shack. Uh, Thornyon, Shogunyon, Solterrier, Illuminoc, and Fokapa. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good team. Thornyon is probably the weakest link, but you have some good uh, unity going on there, and those are all good offensive yokai. If you can, replace Thornyon with somebody better like Jibanyan S. If you can't, then he should do for now. He might not get you through the ultra stages, unless he's at Sultimate 7 and level 50. But, eh. He's not the worst. He's not the worst pick. He's not like Frostina. When are you gonna play Metopia? asks Oliver. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll start playing it. Mario Wafer says, I'll try and remember when you stream, I have a really bad memory. Click the bell next to the subscribe button, and uh, check the boxes that the box that says turn on no turn on all notifications, and then click save. Uh, that'll send you a notification on your phone and in your browser when I whenever I start streaming, so that way you don't forget. Hello, unknown unknown. Thanks for coming. Can you judge my team for Comain? asks that anime guy. Yeah, sure. You gotta post it though. Oh, Adrian says I accidentally deleted Wibble Wobble. Well, I hope you made an account. You have to make an account. There's no juice, says Potato Man. I don't really know what you're talking about, but I like juice, so that's a little disappointing. Finished! Steven says Leafy is my Puni team good. Shogunyan, Robonyan 3000, Kirakoma, Pearless, you mean Peerless, and uh, Yokai Gutsuke. Yes, that's a really good team. Uh, you've got Score Booster, Attack Upper, uh, Single Attacker, Tracer, and Random Popper. I would replace Shogunyan with another booster if you're trying to make cash. If you're trying to get through stages, then that's a solid team. That's a really good team, actually. Goku asks Leafy, how do you do in the Yo Cream battle? I didn't even try. Captain Falcon asks, can we send in our QR codes from Utopia so you can add us into your game? Yes, I will be asking for QR codes in Discord, there will be a ded dedicated channel for that, and on Twitter, uh, and then I'll scan them in when we stream. Uh, actually activating the camera might crash the stream. We'll have to see. Brandon Daniels, welcome! He says, hey Leafy, can't wait until we get Psychic Spectre September 29, 2017 for the 3DS? Question mark? Well, I don't know. Can you wait? I don't know. Why the question marks? Why why is everything a question, Brandon Daniels? Are you are you that unsure? I'm back, had to help my little bro with Kingdom Hearts 2, says HD Hydra. That's a good game. I like on Twitter, I posted the other day and nobody agreed with me. I said anti-form is the thinking man's uh <laughs> drive form. Yeah, I mean I mean it's true. It's the best one. You're my favorite YouTuber, says says Tyler. Thanks so much for that, Tyler. I appreciate that. And thank you for coming to the stream. You guys are so nice. If you guys have any input, either positive or negative, feel free to enter the Splatoon 2 giveaway. I'm giving a digital copy of Splatoon 2 away to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. Um, all you have to do is be subscribed, of course, and tell me two good things about the channel and two bad things about the channel. Or me, I guess. You have Yo-Kai Watch 3? Yes, Oliver. No, no. I don't have time. 
it's no use, says Goma Santa. <laughs> The Legend Kiro Koma asks, leave me, in what video will you show your face? In what video will you guys stop asking me to? That's what I ask. Why does that matter? Like, gen I'm genuinely asking. I like you more, Leafy, says Christopher. I don't know what you like me more than, but thank you. HG Hyde just says, anti form is very awesome looking, but you can't use reaction commands, you can't heal, and you can't take a hit. Which means that it's cool, but bad. Which is why it's the thinking man's form, HD Hydra. It's for the people that are so good that they can put looking cool first. That's why it's good. That's why it's the thinking man's form. I never said it's the best form. I said it's the, the true thinking man's form. And he has, like, the claw attacks. It's awesome. He's like, ha! Have you, do you have or played, uh, Sonic Unleashed? Yeah, I played it. I thought it was pretty bad, though. I have it. I, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at my copy of Sonic Unleashed on the shelf. I didn't think it was very good. Will you do a me reveal, asked Oliver? Um, yes. It's on my Switch. You guys have probably seen it a million times. It does not look anything like me, by the way. I don't even think it has glasses. It's just, a uh, random me. Hey, Leafy, I like yours, says Caesar. I like mine, too. Yeah, I love using Anti-Form Hydra. It's, it's so fun. Getting the big combos, I agree. What do you think will be the hardest yokai to pull or get in this event? For me, it's still Unikiran, says Autobot. Yeah, it's still Unikiran for everyone. He's ridiculously rare. Looking cool, Joker. Leafy, can you please notice? Says Juan Master of Pokemon. Well, well, I did. Calm down. I did. I noticed everything. Chill. Are we good? Are we good? Can we move on? Can I Can I read the rest of this? Are, you, are, you re are we ready? He says, I contacted NHM. And they said that they are considering nerfing Rowan on 3000 due to his high attack set. I apologize for the rudeness. I just want to be heard. I'm going to need proof on that, especially from somebody that says, Leafy, please notice in capital letters, and I don't remember you commenting ever. So I wouldn't take that as absolute truth. If you could send me proof, that would be awesome. If you could tweet it at me or send it to me on Discord or something. But for now, I'm not going to believe that. They've never changed the Yokai stats before in Wibble Wobble. They didn't even bother nerfing Slurpent. Kente says, Leafy read none of my comments in the stream. I read one of yours earlier, dude. Listen closer. We are good, sorry so much, says one. That's cool, that's cool. Leafion says, call me Leafy 2.0. I'd rather not. That implies that you're better than me. Let's go. Right now, right now, fight me. Meet me, uh, 7 p.m. tonight. Behind the 7-Eleven down the street. We'll go at it. See who's the better Leafy, huh? See who's Leafy 2.0 now. Let's go. <laughs> Glaceon, I agree. You have to check the chat for that. Gold Ever says, <laughs> Leafy 20k sings Spongebob style. <laughs> no. I never agreed to this. What do you think about this event, Leafy? Asked Yoshimon. I mean, considering that I put the good event in the thumbnail, I'd say that I think it's a pretty good event. They put in Gleam, which I thought they should put in. Yeah, that's true, Hydra. If I'm Leafy 1.0, I get to be the OG Leafy. That's true. I am. I, I came up with the name Leafy in, like, 2006. Devin says, Leafy didn't read my comments either, except I did. I hate to break it to ya, but I did. I even read that one. I'm grinding for Chimera, says Liam Nixon. And I'm at 2560 points. Wow. Caleb says, Potato Chip Awoken confirmed. No, no, no. Confer... Confirmified. He says, Potato Chip Awoken confirmified. Alright. I'd be down for that. How did you come up with Leafy, though, asked Mel. Uh, Grass-type Pokemon are my favorite Pokemon. And, uh... Yeah. Leafeon is my favorite Pokemon overall. Tied with Sylveon. And then it's Darkrai. And then after that, it's Weavile. And then after that, it's Shaman. Shaman Skyfor. 
<laughs> Thank you, Hamza. It says, leave it for the Splatoon 2 giveaway. The only bad thing about the channel is that you ask hard questions. Like, what are two bad things about the channel? Then put nothing, I suppose. But make sure you tell me exactly what I'm doing right. Instead of just say everything, say, I think that you're the coolest guy ever. Get Be specific. You gotta got say stuff like that. Why did you stream twice today, asked Oliver. Because it's a Monday, which means Wibwab. And sometimes I stream twice. Sometimes I do Salmon Run and Ranked. I'm considering streaming three times, but that's a little... that's a little much. If you guys really want a third stream, I suppose I could do it, but I have stuff to do. Yeah, I have a business email on, it's on my channel. It's also just 101 Leafy, but if you go to the About, you can click uh, send, send Business Email, and it gives you my business one. Oh, Sylveon, I like you more now, says Mel. Yeah, Fairy-type is my favorite type now. Tied with grass. So Leafy, Splatoon 2, and Metopia tomorrow, asks Nicholas Williams. Yes, indeed. I'm excited to start Metopia. I haven't had a chance to. What do you think about Smashable, asks Pablo. I did a big analysis earlier in the stream. I think he's pretty bad and not worth cranking for, is the TLDR. Squidward Awoken, says Christopher. Maybe. Splatoon Awoken? Do you think Komiger will be in the fourth map? Asks that anime girl. It's not a stretch. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think so. But I wouldn't be too surprised, I guess. I, I don't think it'll happen, though. Are you gonna do gameplay on Psychic Specters? Asks Gabriel. I will be the go-to channel for uh, competitive Psychic Specters content. I'll be doing uh, rank live streams, all sorts of other kinds of live streams, all sorts of guides. I'll be hosting tournaments with great prizes. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be awesome. So make sure to tune in. Go to channel for um, competitive Psych Expectors content. Of course, because I have the companion website as well. I'll have uh, text guides too. Um, and we're gonna have daily live streams. I'm gonna play with you guys a lot, a lot. It's gonna be super fun. I'm excited. Here's an ask Leafy, do you like going to Taco Bell? Nope, I never eat out. Can't remember the last time I did. Too many allergies. I like eating rice. Leafy, do you think I should buy Metopia? Asked Glaceon. Full disclaimer, Nintendo did send me Metopia. Product provided by Nintendo, hashtag free product, all of that stuff. Um, Leslie, welcome. But, um, my, my, my opinion is still unbiased. Um, and I will say I actually haven't played it yet. But from what I've seen, it's really fun. So, uh, definitely, I'd say sure. If you're interested, try it out. I think, I think it looks really good. They do have two demos on the eShop. So if you like it, then yeah. Then I have Strike Ass, are you friends with the Doll Smash? Yes, I am. I did a lot of videos for his channel. Not Flareon, says Komachan. I don't really know what that means. Are you saying that the cat emote is sort of like Flareon? Devin says, Leafy responded to my comment, my life is fulfilled. Was you, is your life fulfilled two times over now? Tyler, thank you so much. So nice. Says, Leafy, you're amazing. Thank you. Yeah, if you asked, why was I timed out? Uh, I don't know. Check the rules in the description. You might have been promoting another channel. Uh, that, that's kind of the big one. People like to be like, oh, check out this other channel's video. And I'm like, well, you're kind of in my live stream right now. That's not very polite. Autobot Pictures asks, what would you think of the cast of Steven Universe being in this game? I really don't like that show, so I wouldn't be too excited. They also don't fit at all. That wouldn't make any sense. One says, I don't see the email. Okay, so you go to my channel page, right? And then you click about, and then there's a button that says send business email at the bottom of the description. And when you click it, it reveals my email address. You could also probably guess it. <laughs> Matthew says, I asked about age. I didn't know that would put me in a timeout. You're asking about personal information, dude. Not cool. That's a, that's a big no-no. A lot of people were timed out. I'm guessing they were for valid reasons. If you really want me to, I could go back into the chat and on-screen roast you. But I don't know if that's a great thing to do. T-shirt cannon awoken, says Caleb. Dude, I'd, I'd buy that. I would. Leafy can't even fly, asks a duck. No, but I've always wanted to. 
Is this a good team? Asked Kiet Hall. Uh, Total Demon, Shogunyan, Komashura, Venok Dwoken. No, just Venok and Swelteria. You don't have enough tribe unity, but it's still a pretty solid team. What's wrong with the name Venok? Asked Group Wogal. It's not Orochi? Like, that's, that's the issue? Nicholas Williams asks, how can I effectively express my hype for Psychic Spectres? Uh, companies pay, pay attention to pre-orders, if you're, like, ge asking genuinely. That's kind of a big thing. If you, like, pre-order on Amazon, get to the top of the charts, that would be pretty cool. Thank you so much for responding, says Kiet Ho. Of course. Did you ever get Liberty Neon SS? Asks Gabriel. Nope. Over a million Y money. Didn't get him. What's the strongest yokai in Wibble Wobble? Liberty Nyan SS, Venom Strike. Meme Tall Awoken? Alright. Need to go to sleep, so see you later and stay awesome, Leafy, says Super Mario Wafer. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I appreciate your presence and have a good sleep. It's only 5 p.m. for me, so. Have you played Hey Pikmin yet? asked Glaceon. Of course, I love Pikmin. It's really fun. Uh, disclaimer Nintendo sent it to me. But I love it. I love Pikmin. So normally I'd say I'm unbiased because Nintendo sent it to me. But since I love Pikmin, I'm a little biased because of that. <laughs> uh, it's pretty slow though, I'll say. Like, you move really slow and I don't like that. It's kind of tedious at times. But it's fun. It's very Pikmin-y. It's a little more Pikmin-y than Pikmin 3 was at times. Do you have Yokai Watch 2? asked Aiden. Uh, I'm not really sure what kind of question that is. I put in over 300 hours into Yokai Watch 2. Never played a single Pikmin game, says Thorny on the Beast. Uh, both of them are, or rather, all three of them are on the Wii U eShop. So give them a download. Play Pikmin 2 first. Pablo says, Leafy, you're the nicest YouTuber ever. Thank you so much, Pablo. We're gonna SS. You should, you should get to sleep now, Gamernado. Let's not do that today. Hi Leafy, am I late? Asked Swagroy. Yeah, we stream at uh, 4 p.m. Central every Monday, and it's currently 5.20 p.m. Central. If you don't want to be late for the streams, click the bell next to the subscribe icon, check the box that says turn, all, turn on all notifications, and then click save. You get a push notification on your browser and phone whenever I start streaming. Leafy uses Chicago time zone. Yes, that's correct, uh, Leafyon. I go to C2E2 every year, if you want to say hi. A couple people did uh, back in April. We had some fun. Caleb says, I have to go cry, Leafy. Have fun. Let's play. Come back when your eyes are dry. I hate Pikmin, says Kente. That is highly offensive and worthy of a ban. Who is your most powerful yokai? Mine is Komushira, asks Goku. Uh, yeah, mine probably is too, or Demuncher. What's your favorite aquatic animal, asks Angel. Oh god, you guys are running out of, like, basic questions to ask, so you're getting really specific now. Uh, otters, probably, because they're adorable. Or jellyfish, because I actually find them kind of cute, too. They're probably otters. I mean, they're they're too cute. Seriously. Just, they, they're too cute. I love them. Link Gamer says, hey, hey Leafy, or he says, hey, Lefty, which isn't wrong, I'm a Lefty. When I started Wibwab, my... Nah, I, got, I gotta read this whole thing. He says, Hey Lefty, when I started Wibwob, my frist crank was Swelteri. <laughs> Congratulations! Um, that's an incredibly lucky pull. Stick with that file. Don't reset. How is this a good event? That's Iron Boink. Uh, we got Gleam, we got event points and event point shop, event maps. Dude, it's pretty good for Wibwob standards. This is like the second best event we've ever gotten on Wibwob. Now, compared to Poonie, it's not incredible. But for Wibwob, hey, this is pretty good. We're making progress, alright? Just, we're making progress. Favorite planet in the universe, asked Captain Falcon. Probably Earth. I mean, kind of living on it. <laughs> What's the bonus if you buy Yokai Watch 2 Psy Yokai Watch 2 Spectre's Psychic Fiscally as Super Mario 101? Well, the fiscal bonus for buying Spectre's Psychic fis fis Fiscally is minus $40. Or minus however many euros if you're in the UK or whatever. Uh, but for buying it physically, nothing that we know of. Digitally, you get Machunyan. I'm ambidextrous, says Kendall. Congratulations. 
Forget street sleep, I'm loving the streams so I'll stay. It's a Super Mario wafer. Awesome! We're getting to the, the exciting part now. Is this P. Gray? I think so. No, it's Delphine! Oh my god! It's Delphine! Yay! Delphine's the best, in case you guys didn't know. Delphine's the best. You're a star. They might be watching right now. I'm not sure. Hi, Delphine, if you're watching. Favorite form of Link Leafy, as Nicholas Williams. Ooh, that's a tough one. Probably Toon Link, because Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass are my favorite uh, Zeldas. So yeah, probably Toon Link. Though, I do like uh, Link Between Worlds. That's really good. Does Ravio count? If so, probably Ravio. But I guess it's kind of a spoiler, isn't it? Why wasn't Ravio in Hyrule Warriors? What the heck? He totally should have been. Smug anime girl awoken, says SSRN. <laughs> Now that's my kind of awoken yokai. Welcome back, friends, says Dangerous One. Thanks. What are you looking forward to the most in Wibble Wobble? I'm looking forward to uh, when they add the Liberty Neon SS Pass back into the crank, because that should be a thing by now. That's what I'm looking forward to. Or, uh, 3000. Crimson Arzo says, will you do unit reviews for Psychic Spectres? Or do Physic Spectres? <laughs> um, yes. Do not worry, Crimson. I have had... I, I have everything planned out for Psychic Spectres, in case you didn't know. I have everything planned out. And unit reviews... Oh boy. These are gonna be... You, you thought Rabbids is, is gonna be good? You thought Fire Emblem Warriors is gonna be good? Don't... Mm. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be... I'm excited. I don't want to give too much away. But, uh... It's something to look forward to. That's for sure. That's absolutely for sure. Get a Buccinion medal for buying Psychic Spectre's physical copy, says Oliver. I'm not sure if that's an official announcement. If it is, that's pretty cool. Hey Nader, thanks for subscribing. Nader as an Okanider. Psychic Inspector's gadget. I'd play it. Salomon says, time to go grind for orbs and try and get some plot in Heroes. <laughs> Dude, Heroes has such a good story. Tiki has amazing character development. David Perez says, Leafy broke the rules, promote someone else. I don't, I don't think I did. I was talking about my own channel for Psychic Spectres content. Uh, and I'll promote my friends sometimes. Like, I'll say, check out Filthy Goat, check out Robit, check out Sages. But I was just talking about my own channel when I was talking about Psychic Spectres content. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ghosty doesn't like the map. I think it's good. I mean, it's kind of a lazy recolor, but... Eh. Could be worse. It's new stuff. We get event points. That's pretty rad. Oh god, do I have to actually try now? I don't like that. Yo, can I watch Wibble Wobble for fun and challenge? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we have a lot of cash, actually. Thanks to the new subscriber. I haven't seen the new Yo-Kai Watch movie yet, Gabriel. Should I spend Y money on level caps or vanilla crank S key at home? Uh, lucky crank. Or level caps. It really depends. I don't know. Probably level caps, if I'm being honest. Crimson says, Leafy, thanks for having such awesome streams. Thank you, Crimson. You didn't react when I mentioned this, so you might have missed it. Dude, dude, it's smashable! It's smashable! Uh... Okay. Alright. Hey, JS, thanks for coming to the stream. But yeah, anyway, Crimson, you didn't react when I mentioned it, so speaking of awesome streams that you'd like, uh, I will be streaming the Monster Hunter Stories demo when it releases on August 10th, so look forward to that. I don't know if Mexico is going to get it, so you might want to tune in. It's alright, Leafy, says Quentin Floyd. I don't know if it's alright, though. That was so disappointing. Kill Cavity Awoken. <laughs> when it's not smashable, says Expresso. Oh, dude, let's go. Let's go. Give me that. Let's go. Bon appetit. Let's go. Got him. 
Are we gonna get Yokai Watch Just Dance for Switch? Uh, I would love that. Definitely not, though, due to music licensing issues. Absolutely not. I mean, can you imagine how much of a nightmare it would be to, um, localize Unanyano Ken? That would not work out. That would be way too much cash. I just subscribed, says Jesus Gamer Go. Thank you so much for subscribing, Gamer Go. I appreciate it. Blaze! Alright, Slurpin. Let's go. Ghosty Toasty says, Leafy, I tell you this, Wibble Wobble scanned me. Actually, I, I forgot to mention that. Wibble Wobble kind of scammed everyone. No joke. Uh, it turns out your level 5 VIP class doesn't carry over to Lady Layton. Because Wibble Wobble uses its own account system, not the level 5 ID. And Lady Layton is the first game to use the level 5 ID, uh, system. I've been meaning to ask level 5 about that. But for now, your Wibble Wobble status does not carry over to Lady Layton. Or Layton's Mystery Journey, and vice versa. I bought something in Layton's Mystery Journey, and I don't get Safignan in, uh, Wibble Wobble for that. I I'm not Silver 2. Not great, which means that Wibble Wobble isn't going to carry over to Fantasy Life Online either if they don't fix that. Not great, they got to fix that. I I have a need to contact them because that's pretty bad. I mean, I know a bunch of people that have Pandanoko. Crimson says, oh, "Yay! Um, Monster Hunter Stories demo is going to be awesome. Hopefully, you get a good monster. By the way, Mexico gets everything at the same time as the U.S. No way! I didn't know that. That's really cool." Wizard King 12, welcome. Says just join the stream. Are you gonna play Ultra Sun or Moon? Asked Gabriel. Yes, of course. Hi 101 Leafy says hi guys. It feels weird saying hi 101 Leafy out loud. JS asks Leafy, are you gonna play Psychic Specters when it comes out? It comes out September 29th, actually, JS. That is incorrect. It does not come out the 18th. It comes out September 29th in the UK and in America. And of course I'll be playing it. What kind of question is that? Why wouldn't I? Like, literally, somebody in the chat gave me a reason why I would A legitimate reason. Because I get, I don't know, I feel like I give us the wrong vibe if somebody asks that every single stream. Christopher asks, Leafy, do you live in Mexico? No, 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 I'm in the US. Uh, it's just that Crimson is. So I was wondering if Crimson would be getting the demo. Because Crimson's a huge fan of Monster Hunter. Like, really, really big. Have you played Pokemon Showdown, asked Goku? Of course I have. Who has it? What's good, Leafy? Yes, Steven Thompson. Everything. This event is good. I get mixed up a lot, says JS. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Autobot says, the only thing I got from the Lucky Crank is a Tengu. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good, especially if you're early in the game. Like, Tengu's super strong. Congratulations. Oh, God. Super Mario Wafer says, I'm drinking a liter of cherry Coke. LOL. I don't know if that's LOL worthy if you're trying to go to bed. <laughs> One liter of cherry Coke is not going to help you with that? I, I do not advise that. <laughs> that is not recommended. Well, that's so nice of you, Killzone Gaming. He says, I'm thinking about getting Psychic Spectres as a birthday present for my sister, since it comes out on her birthday. That's really nice of you. If you please read this, I have Eminyan S is all over you. Congratulations on spending $50. I guess. I hope all five puts busters in the United States, says the Yokai fanboy. Yeah, I do too. Ever tried warm milk, asked Autobot Pictures. I am both allergic to milk and lactose intolerant, so no. That sounds disgusting, though. Hello, Leafy, says Mr. Nalini. Welcome, mister. Thanks for coming. VX Crippy just sub sub subscribed. Thank you. Finally, something that isn't a scramble battle, says Expresso. I know, right? Goku says, Leafy, I challenge you to a battle in Showdown because I never lose. Never accept a challenge, guys. Nobody would ever make a challenge that they know they can't win. You know how to unlock the new hidden stage, asked Mutagen Boy. I'm guessing it's just to complete the map. That's what they usually are for uh, the impossible stages. Goku Watch Busters or um, Son Gokshi? Uh, Busters. For sure. They would really butcher the Son Gokshi localization. Even more than they will for Busters. Because we already know they're going to call it Blasters, which is just awful. Ugh. Gross. If you am back, says Bad Baby. Welcome back. 
Have you ever played Battle Cats? Asked Astro Octo. Great to see you, dude. Um, I have not. I've considered it, but I have. I haven't. Komachan says, I have QB Snarl, Komasan Awoken. That's not a thing. Mermaiden and Shogun, yeah. So I switch one of them for Arachnia. Yes, any of them. QB, Komasan S, and Mermaiden are all awful. Don't use any of them. Ultra Stages beat the boss in 65 seconds. Thanks, Captain Falcon. What's your Android VM that you're using? Asks a uh, name. It's Nox. Bonjour, says Gabriel. Hey, how's it going? Oh, fizzy, fizzy drinks don't affect Super Mario way for sleep. Also, he's trying to stay awake for the stream. That's true. Cats or dogs? If you answer dogs, you're wrong. Eh. I like both. <gasps> oh my god! Oliver E doesn't have Eminyon. He has Eminyon S. What? No way! Th that's that's like three thousand dollars. Oh my god! Well, thank you so much, Oliver, for supporting Wibble Wobble that much. That is incredible. I'm not sure if you have it in Wibble Wobble or Poonie, but thank you. That's that's pretty awesome of you. Helps the game out a lot because we all know NHN can use all the budget they can get. <laughs> that's pretty cool, of you dude. Send me some screenshots on Twitter. That sounds awesome. Have you played Clash Royale as Christopher? Yeah, I didn't like it that much. It's super pay to win. You can literally just pay to make your card stronger than other people's. I mean, I get that they cap out, but at the lower ranks, it's kind of a big deal. If you my team, Zero, Demuncher, Shogunyan, Lionheart, and Arachnaval. That's really good. Keep it. That's awesome. If you're trying to clear stages, score uppers don't really help. I'd replace them with something like uh, Lazy on Awoken, but that's really good. So for a summary, Leafy is awesome and I love this game, says so Super Mario Wafer. Thanks, dude. You're awesome, too. Alright, see ya, Astro Octo. Thanks for coming. Feel better? Uh-oh, alright, how many stages do we have left? Let's check. Ghosty Toasty says, Leafy noticed me, I already have multiple times. Zanichen doing weekly events then, because we've had events non-stop for a while now. I hope so, because they do for Puni. We at least deserve that much, even if some of them are trash. I really can't wait for Psychic Spectres, says Yokai Lector. Welcome back, Yokai Lector. Great to see you again. Oh, I can't wait either. It's gonna be incredible. Game of the year. Blaze. Wish me luck for a Lunox, says Derpy Joe Show. I will. Good luck. What do you think of my team, Leafy? Angel asks. Uh, Shogunyan, Snartle, Aminyan, Safinyan, and Lionheart. Uh, that's alright, I guess. Bunch of random poppers. That's not gonna get you anywhere in score attack, but it'll help you clear some stages. Eminyan and Safinyan are pretty awful. You can only up their soul ultimates with soul secrets, which is just not worth it, honestly. Okay, so we gotta play for real for real now. Okay, so Astro Octo is still sticking around. Crimson S. Leaf, you'll ever- anyone ever get the fabled Rubinyan S? Yes, I know someone that has- Alright, let's try this again. Oh wow, JS says I have around 2,675 hours on Terraria on my iPad, which I've been watching streams with. Wow, that's a lot of Terraria. You must be good at it. What's your favorite Leafy Yawn? Asked Nikki. I think Leafy Yawn Awoken is the best one. Sun Gone Leafy Yawn is, I don't know, I think it's a little too much. It's a little redundant at that point. Oh, I know what video you're talking about, SSRN. Uh, some guy pulled a hundred Nyambo coins uh, in Puni on a new save file. That was Satoshi. I love him. Satoshi des. Oh no. Ah, okay, cool. 
Please. How is this grinding for Wymon? Yes, Quentin Floyd. It's not. I don't know where you got that idea. We're playing through the new event map. Liam says, I live in the UK, but use the American Wibwob. That's not a bad idea. It's pretty good. Awesome. Super Mario Wafer says, I'll most likely be here for the next Wibble Wobble stream. I hope you are. I look forward to seeing you. That's true, Nikki. Leafignan SS, the big boss, is pretty amazing. Daniel says, Leafy, name all the consoles you've ever played. Uh, okay. Genesis, NES, Super Nintendo, uh... PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, DS, 3DS, all of the DS and 3DS models, uh... <sighs> and a couple that I'm missing, a couple that I'm forgetting about. That's most of them, though. Please. Aiden, thanks for coming. Alright, let's get Demuncher up. Cool. Probably should have used him on, uh, this guy. Spam. Hello, Golden Foxy. Great to see you again. Thanks for coming. Even the new Nintendo 2DS asked Valentine. Yes, Nintendo sent me one in advance. Uh, it's really sleek. It's super, super cool. Uh-oh. Am I the only mod still here, asked Angry? Well, if you are, then please stick around. I'm hoping that Pink Emperor and Robion 3000 are gonna be in the Lucky Crank like in Poonie, says SSRM. I'm not. I hope that you earn them through score attacks so that it's easier to get them. Sorry I'm late, says David Jacobs. No problem. If you don't want to be late, turn on notifications by clicking the bell next to the subscription button. You'll get a notification whenever I go streaming. Yeah, Super Mario Wafer, I like to interact as much as possible with the chat. I'm super appreciative of um, all of you guys, really. I know that sounds generic, I know that sounds cheesy. It's, it sounds that I'm like I'm probably, you know, lying or exaggerating, but I really am. You guys are awesome. Yeah, not Xbox. I don't like Xbox. It has no good games, no exclusives. Except Jet Set Radio Future. That's like it. Everything else that's good on Xbox is on computer. And not a lot of good things are on Xbox, in my opinion. In my opinion. Yo, Halos, I guess. That's like it. Everything else is on PlayStation or PC. So bad at this game, this is bad baby. I'm sorry. Hopefully it'll turn into good baby one day. Komain is really easy to get, says Juan. I've heard that. It's good to hear, I guess, because he's absolutely awful. Like, he's not even worth getting, honestly. He's an A-rank ball popper. I have terrible crank luck, says James. Don't we all? Hmm. Alright, cool. Crimson says, go, go, Leafy. Thank you, Crimson. Excel, I'm sorry, I can't read that, but uh, I'm guessing that's something nice, so thank you. Please. Thank you for watching, XL. I, I really appreciate it, even though I can't read what you're saying. Thank you for coming. Venom Strike says subscribe. Thank you, Venom Strike. I appreciate it. And you cared so much. I have enough soul secrets to max out Slurpit, says Juan. Oh, I hope you pull them then. Or 
Alright, let's keep chugging. We only have 10 stages left, and then we're done. Hey, Card Sanzo 5, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Two Rhinoggin, okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Or maybe it will. Maybe we can get a uh, Bee Muncher. Take out one of the Rhinoggin real quick. I'd rather not waste these Slurpent though. Yeah, okay, this is easy. We got one D Muncher here. So now we can get up a second D Muncher pretty easily. Uh, okay. Cool. So we got into Fever Time. Now we just take out Ryan Ogden like this. Easy. Sleepy is at 10 levels until the stream ends, asked Super Mario Wafer. Yes, it is. So not too much more to go. Considering that we've been through 38. Should I grind Y money in case the Zer Dragon gets added to the Lucky Crank with Fort Map or grind points for Chimera as Alexander D. I'd grind money, because Ezra Dragon is really good. He's in the medallion now, right? So he probably will be, or he'll be a hidden stage. But either way, you'll need money to get um Gleam so that you can do the impossible stage. Well no, Gleam's only in coins. You'll need money to get um predictable. Not predictable. Smashable. Okay, got it on the third try. You might get smashable so that you can do well on the impossible stage. Because smashable gives you the bonus, right? Hey, Angry Manana, it's great to see you. It says, I'm here for leafy time, leafy time. Leafy is the best. Thank you so much. It's always great to see you. If you guys haven't already, check out my friend uh, Carlos or Angry Bananas. He's working on some good videos right now. He covers mobile games now, which is awesome. Mobile games need more attention. Owen says, Leafy, please do more streams so much. Thanks, Owen. I do daily streams. I can't really do more than that. Uh, I do I do tw twice a day sometimes. Uh, but definitely daily. Nicholas says that he thinks the two new SS ranks will be in the crank. I hope not. Cranking two new SS guys is going to be a nightmare. Smashable gives damage down on all stages except boss and hidden stages. Oh, dang it. Eh, still grind white money. Why not? Because they might add the big bosses to the crank. In which case, you'll need the money. BB, how long have you been playing Wibwob as Angel? Uh, I've been playing since release date. I actually sent out review codes for Wibwob, but I didn't really know level 5 back then. So I've only been playing since the release date. Which was March 29th, if I remember correctly. 2016. It's a good game. Dang. Nah, we don't need days, Crimson. Crimson wants him to be my friend. We don't really need him. I already have him, so. Daniel S, have you ever met a dollar of Pigre in real life? Pigre is in Europe, so, uh, no. But I've met Abdallah, yeah, a couple times. At C2E2 and at Anime Midwest. Oh, and at the Nintendo Switch event. We're both in the same state, so. Clear. Yeah, I agree, Komoshiro Gaming. I want uh, Robion 3000 and Pink Emperor to be in score attack. I don't want to have to crank for them. Gross. What job are you going to give your Mia Metopia still in Oliver? Um, I don't know yet, because I don't know all the jobs. Probably something with magic. Nah, I haven't gotten Professor. He's not worth it, Autobot Pictures. He's he's awful. He's really bad. Let's see. Hmm. E Muncher is always nice. Eliminates the target right away. The new Yokai Watch be like a deluxe version as River Piro. Sort of. Pretty much. It's gonna have a lot of new content though. It's worth getting, uh, no matter what. You gotta get it. Oh, 
What yokai do you believe deserve to be in a robo for? Um, Tatsuya? Leafy is happier, awoken, good or bad, asks uh, Ghosty Toasty. He's incredible. If you pulled him, you are very lucky. Aw, Pavo says, watching the stream with my dog Cece. You have to send me pictures. I love dogs. They're so cute. Discots will tear your Sazone. Congratulations. Have you met Robin? asks Luigi the Wibwob. No, I haven't. He's pretty far away. I'm excited for Psychic Spectres, says James Walker. I am too. I'm really excited. Is Robonyon good? asks Venom Strike. No, he's really bad. Robonyon 3000 is good though, but Robonyon 28 and Robonyon just base form are both really bad. Do not use them, absolutely don't soul secret them. Mostly Cappy asks, Leafy, do you think that Yokai Watch Busters may be released anytime sooner? Uh, I think summer 2018 is the earliest, unfortunately. Maybe spring 2018, if we're super lucky. Pablo asks, how do I send pictures of my dog? On Twitter or Discord? Links are in the description. I need to see it. Crimson says, I hope I can meet Leafy next year at C2E2. Dude, that would be awesome. I didn't know you were coming. If you are, then absolutely. We'll play Psychic Spectres. Or Busters if it comes out by then. Why is Professor Badass uh, young Carlos Varela? I might have pronounced that wrong. Um, Because he, he doesn't deal any damage. He deals no damage. He has like 400 something attack. Garanato says, insert bad Robin impression here. Wib wobbles. Rob it here. <laughs> I actually did that in one of his videos, if you've seen all of them. <gasps> oh man, Devin pulled Unpleasant. Congratulations. That's like a free soul secrets there. Luigi asked Leafy, can I send a pic of my dog too? Of course you can. I love dogs. I'm really looking forward to Psychic Spectres, Super Mario Wafer. I am too. I cannot wait, in case you couldn't tell. I'm super excited. Don't Oliver asks, when do you think Yoga Watch 3 will release? Please don't send me to your video, except I am, because I'm still standing by that. I think it will release holiday 2018. I made that video so people don't ask me that. Arden Game says, you all should check out this great YouTube channel called 101 Leafy. I agree, you guys should subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. Venom Strike asks, can I send you friend code? You can, but I won't add you. <laughs> Ghosty Toasty asks, Sleepy, when Spectral Spirits release, Psychic Spectres, do you think Wibwa will get Kinoshina Wokan? It's spelled Awoken, A-W-O-K-E-N, and yes, I think we will. That would be awesome. On the topic of dogs, I just got a puppy, says Emic McDonald. Did you really? What kind of dog did you get? My favorite dogs are Huskies and Malamutes, and Corgis. They're the cutest. Oh, Crimson's not sure yet. Okay. You just want to go to C2. Makes sense. Ah, okay. No thanks, Angel. I'm gonna pass on that one. Huskies is Daniel, I agree. They're so cute. Vincent, welcome! He says, I love your videos and I'm here to support. Thank you, Vincent. So kind of you. I really do appreciate all the support that I've gotten recently. Doubling subscribers, uh, two months in a row. Hinoshina Woken or Robonyon 3000? That's Valentine. Uh, Ro uh... Kinoshina Woken, because he's cooler, and I think he has a little more attack, and when the Kuroi Watch eventually makes his way to America in 2020, uh, he gets to use that as well, which is a 15% boost. Welcome back, H.T. Hydra. Thanks for returning. Oh, you got a Rottweiler. Awesome. Uh, I'm it. That sounds really cute. Thornyan, of course! I've seen the Corgi Shiba in Inu mix. It's, that sounds so adorable. 
If you do you know of Xenoblade Chronicles as Super Mario Wafer? I am looking at my copy right now. I haven't played Cross, but I played the original, and I will be playing too. And Carlos Varela says you pronounced my name correctly. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Oh, uh, Gamernado says, I have a guide dog who I trained for a year, but he failed, so I got him back forever. I don't have a Twitter, so I can't send a picture. Guide dogs, dogs are always the cutest kinds of dogs, though. They're really cute, and they're so nice. I love them. You think we'll get a Yokai Watch 4 as Bill and Oliver? Of course. We'll probably get it either next year or the year after on Nintendo Switch. Let's see. Oh man, we gotta use a lot of continues today because we're playing on computer, which makes things a little difficult. If you do want Super Mario Odyssey, asks um, Ghosty Kathy. Yes, yes. Super Mario Odyssey is literally the game of my dreams. I've always said Nintendo needs to do an open world Mario game. I've said that for like my entire life. Nintendo ne needs to do a new open world Mario game. And they finally are. I've been dreaming of this day. We are mere months away from what is going to be the undeniable game of the year. I am so excited, and I will be covering it, of course. How do you think Yokai Watch will end at Sonic McDonald? Well, we know from the new movie trailer that Keita does eventually lose the Yokai Watch and lose the ability to see Yokai. So that's how it'll end. Do you think Yokai Watch 4 will be a worldwide release act still in Oliver? That would be kind of cool, but I don't think so. That would be super cool, though. <laughs> How do you get to the first shop? Asks Mark Pickett. I don't know what that means. But, uh, you turn left at the intersection, and then you keep going straight for, uh, 10 miles. So, let's try and get Demuncher up really fast here. We chain these, click, 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 click. Chain these. Okay, cool. So we've got Demuncher. Now we Demuncher cut and cheese. This is bad because these are all, uh, eerie yokai. So we're gonna have a little more difficulty against them than, say, charming yokai. We can get Crunch- uh, sorry, not Cruncher, but Snartle up pretty easily here. Nice. If will Usapion come to Wibble Wobble, ask Ghosty Kathy. Yes, I know that NHN wants to bring Usapion to Wibble Wobble by the end of the year. I don't know if that'll happen. They don't know if that'll happen. But last I heard from them, uh, late last year, it's something that they want to do, uh, by the end of this year. They're hoping to at least. So, make that what you will. Plans change though, so we have no idea. Elifi, sorry for coming late. Welcome back, DJ Perez. If you don't want to be late, then make sure to turn on notifications to let you know uh, when I'm streaming as soon as I begin. You just click the bell next to the subscribe icon. Or button, I guess. Nice! Okay, that was close. That was way too close. Vincent Lewis says, Soon I'll get a Switch with Splatoon 2. Awesome! I'm raising money by doing a car wash. I'm only over two-thirds of the way there. Congratulations, Vincent. You're really putting in the work. That's, uh, that's admirable. I hope that you can get your Switch soon. Valentin says, I hope that we get version 4 of Yo-Kai Watch 3 as soon as it releases. That would be nice. I wouldn't be surprised if we did. When you think episode 77, Inoho's reveal. I know what episode 77 is, Dylan Oliver. We'll premiere on Disney XD, uh, January. Or December. Because the next volume of the manga, which features Usapion, releases in January. So, January or December are most likely. A new to your channel, says Pokemon Master Power. Well, welcome! If you're liking the stream, then please subscribe. We've been growing so fast lately. We have over 10,500 subscribers now. Look at that. Just yesterday, we were, or the day before yesterday, we were celebrating 10,000. Pretty crazy growth rate. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Aw oh, man, DJ Prez did have notifications on for my channel, but for some reason the notification ringtone didn't ring. That's super lame. Well, uh, if you ever forget, we do stream every Monday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Bon appetit. Oh man! The Latent Series YouTube channel posted a new video because I have notifications on for it. I gotta check that out. I wonder what it is. You guys should too, it's made by uh, level 5. Leafy will be friend of boss of that, make you return to Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, that's ghostly Cappy. I doubt it. We already got the return. I doubt they'd rerun it again. Welcome back to Yokai Watch Gamer, thanks for coming. On says Leafy, please give me luck for Unikirin. Uh, good luck, Come on. good luck. We have two stages left. No way. We're making our way through this. Pablo says, I am back. Welcome back, Pablo. Thanks for sticking with us. Shout outs to everyone that's uh, stuck with us for this entire event map. Pretty cool of you. Alright, we've got Snartle up right away. Take out one of the weaker guys here. Beefy, I got a Luminox, says Shadow Shack. Congratulations, Shadow. That's not a bad pull at all. Are you the one that was hoping for a Luminox? Because if so, congratulations. Like, double congratulations. He's really, really good. Hey, Eva! Thanks for coming. And welcome. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, we got this. Not uh-oh. No uh-ohs. Uh-uh, no, maybe? I wonder why there are 47 stages and not 45 as usual. Interesting observation, Valentine. I wonder that too. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so we still finish. Crimson Rose also asked Leafy, do you think Mexico will get the chapter of the manga with Usapion as chapter or volume 9? Well, Mexico has completely different manga, as you've told me, so uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think you'll get it, that's for sure, but I don't know what. Nicholas Williams asks, normal or lucky crank to get soul secrets? Neither are maxed. Uh, I'd say lucky crank. Alright, this is it. Final stage, or the final boss of, uh, the current, the current maps. We have a fourth one coming, as the event announcement said. Caleb, welcome back, great to see you again. You're just in time, because we're fighting the final boss. Smashable. Completely different from the other Smashable, of course. When's the next Splatoon stream, asked Vincent. I stream Splatoon 2 every day right now, so we'll have it tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna play some ranked matches, it'll be fun. DJ Perez says, Leafy, are you sick or something? You sound different. No, my voice is just tired. Uh, I've, I've streamed for four hours today, and I've been streaming every day at least two hours, if not four, uh, every day for the past two weeks. So my voice is getting kind of tired, sorry. But you know, it's worth it. You've gained so many subscribers lately. It's really exciting. Is Luna not good at level 40, asked Mutagen Boy. Yeah, that's good enough. Skull Gaming, rewind the video. <laughs> Smashable was too predictable, says so Dylan Oliver. Oh my god. Easy. Easy. Oh, and then we get Blazing. Okay. You cool like Pokemon Sun and Moon, says Eva. Thanks. I think Pokemon Sun and Moon is pretty cool. So, I'm, I'm okay being as cool as it. Chuckle King says, okay. Thanks. Finish! Me too, thanks. Yeah! Understandable. Have a nice day. Are you on the main attractions this point today? Am I? Where's Wilbo Wobble? Eka Pro, great to see you again, dude. He says, hi, Leafy. Yoko Watch Gamer says, Leafy. Yes. 
All right, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, this was Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble. I was 101 Leafy. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leaving a like, leaving a comment, sharing is always nice because it helps the video get noticed more. Not that there's much Wibble Wobble competition. Um, I will see you tomorrow for some more Splatoon 2. We'll be doing a Race to the Top Rank Match live stream. And I will see you next Monday at 4 p.m. Central Time for more Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble. See you then.